90% of what I eat, I can't swallow. I have to wash it down with water. I have a uh, small clip-on bag that carries my water bottle, and so when I get up in the morning, I clip my holder on and stick me a bottle of water in it. And everywhere I go, I have to carry a bottle of water. My name's James Caps. I live here in Tushko, Oklahoma. Born and raised uh, up at Atoka. I mixed with the cowboys and thought the uh, best thing to do was to start dipping snuff and move to the farm and be a cowboy. And uh, little did I know that was the downfall of my life. Uh, I met Kenda about <clears throat> 20 years ago. Uh, met her through a friend and uh, we seemed to hit it off and got married seven or eight months later. A few years after we were married, we wanted to have a child, and so Kaylee came along. It was a big joy in our, both of our lives. Uh, at that point, uh, we just began to introduce her to the farm when she got old enough and uh, horses, and uh, everything was great. Things were perfect. And then in 2001, the bomb was dropped. I had some... Uh, ear trouble. I uh, went to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and uh, he found a small knot <clears throat> on the right side of my neck, and they told me to take about an hour and a half surgery uh, to get it out, go back to work the next morning, no problems. I was on the operating table about nine hours. Once they got the knot out, they determined it was cancer, and so they cleaned a lot of this up. Uh, <clears throat> couldn't get to all the cancer, so they sewed me back up and decided that it would be, uh, the best way to get it would be radiation and chemotherapy. They put a chemo bag on my side and a port in my chest, and they pumped chemotherapy medication in me seven days a week, 24 hours a day for seven weeks. And uh, I was pretty healthy at the time. I weighed probably about 190 and uh, I quit eating after about three weeks. Uh, and I lived on <clears throat> seven to eight cans of Insure a day. When they break the news to you that you've got cancer, the first thing uh, that went through my mind was, uh... <clears throat> I've got a a three-year-old daughter that I've got to be her raise. And, uh, of course, <clears throat> I hadn't been married all that long. I didn't want to leave my wife. And, uh, you know, when they tell you you've got cancer, you don't know what to expect. Tobacco has changed my life because of my dad. Tobacco just doesn't affect the person that it's taken its toll on. It affects your whole family. It affects your friends and your family and your everybody you're associated with in some point or another. I get very dry when I talk a lot and when your mouth gets dry you, you have difficulty speaking so I, I chase uh, this water bottle everywhere I go. I have a lot of difficulty eating. Uh, I can't, I haven't had a steak in 10 years. Steak's just out of my menu. So I have eating issues, I have tongue issues, I have dry mouth, I have very little saliva uh, because of the radiation. Tobacco <clears throat> products are never worth uh, the pain and the agony that you go through from the disease of cancer. You know, I was told uh, for years that uh, tobacco wasn't good for me and have health problems. I never thought it would happen to me, but it did, and it's because of dipping snuff. It's not tough to dip snuff. It's nasty, it's filthy, it's degrading, but it makes us feel like we're somebody we're not. You know, if my nine years of suffering can save one person from suffering. I would say that it's been worth it because I've helped somebody else. 
My name is James Katz, and tobacco stops with me.